It's also worth noting that the recommendations that had been put forth uh, in the past ATA guidelines regarding TSH suppression were based on low quality evidence, um, uh, yielding a weak recommendation. And that's because uh, we didn't have very strong data at the time to uh, recommend uh, 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 for our recommendations. And most of these uh, are based on expert consensus. Currently, the advice is that we should not be using TSH suppression therapy in patients who have microcarcinomas or low risk papillary thyroid cancers. And this is basically based on studies showing that it does not lead to improved clinical outcomes such as disease free survival or recurrence free survival. And uh, it can lead to some adverse effects or patient harm in these patients. And I think Dr. Lung may touch on some of these studies uh, later on.